Welcome back, Irish fans, to day four of Watch ND's continuing exclusive coverage of Training Camp 2014 for the Fighting Irish football team, presented once again by St. Joseph Regional Medical Center, official wellness partner of Notre Dame Athletics. As you can see, another gorgeous day has greeted the Irish here at the Culver Academies, and the Irish are again allowed to wear helmets and shoulder pads during today's practice session before putting on full pads for the first time for tomorrow's final session here at Culver. Our position profile today will focus on the tight ends. Very impressive group of young men to uphold the tradition here of being tight end you. Talk about how they're doing and really what guys you're counting on both to contribute this year and in years to come. Well, obviously you have Ben Koyak, you know, he's my senior um, and he's taking the leadership role. And so he understands that he's the only guy in that room that's actually played football for the University of Notre Dame. Everybody else has watched us, but he's the only one that's played. So I'm excited to see him grow in a leadership role and also grow in a playmaking role, okay, and be an all-around tight end. That's what we try and do here, being an all-around tight end. Next you have Dorm Smythe, who uh, is a redshirt freshman, uh, has a lot of good characteristics to be a really good tight end here. He's just got to play. He's just got to play football, continue to play fast, okay? Sometimes those guys get out there and think too much. He's just got to play, continue continue to play fast, be aggressive, play physical, and when there are plays be made, he's got to make plays. Next, you got Mike Hireman, who unfortunately is injured right now, but we expect him to have a speedy recovery. Uh, again, we expect him to not miss a beat. He's missed five practices already, but uh, you know he's got to be a veteran guy. He came in early in the spring, so we expect him to be mentally sharp. Uh, he may have to still work on some technique stuff, but, but we got to have him contribute and be able to jump in there at any position um, to be able to help us be successful. You have the two freshmen who I'm excited about. We're very excited that we got those two freshmen. Ty Lutua from uh, California He's doing a good job um, just acclimating himself into the role of playing either H or Y for us, um, being a diverse guy. He brings a little bit of girth to our group. Okay, He's already 260 pounds, um, and he's a guy that we really like in line and attached. And then you got Nick Wisher, who uh, you know is from Chicago, local area kid, great ball skills, a kid that works hard, and a kid that uh, you know, we feel that once we get him in the weight room, uh, we'll be able to do a lot of good things for us. People now refer to this place as tight end you. When you look at the, even the recent tradition, these guys know. You've got Troy Nicholas, you've got uh, Kyle Rudolph, you've got Tyler Eifert. Do, does that enter into what these guys are thinking about when they come here and take the field about the tradition, the fraternity of Notre Dame tight ends? Yeah, I can't leave out John Carlson or Anthony Fasano. Those guys are in the league right now. So, yeah, it, we're proud of that. We don't shy away from that, okay? And, uh, you know, a young man that's looking to, to come in and, and be a tight end that is able to have a productive career um, and then able to go on to the next level, I don't know if there's a better place. And so our guys understand that. I don't have to remind them all the time. They know they came here because of that. All right. They saw the guys that were in front of them doing those great things in the gold helmets and then going on to the NFL. And so uh, we have a big tradition and it's nothing I have to remind them about. They're going to they understand it. They know it and they take pride in it. Oh, it's just four days in, but and you haven't put the pads on fully yet. But watching on the sidelines, other than not taking guys to the ground, these have been physical, intense practices. How has your to perform so far this week? Well, I think that's been a trademark of Coach Kelly's practices for the past five years now is that, uh, you know, even in just shells, we're going to get after it and we try and keep each other up, but it's going to be physical because that's what this game is. It's a physical game. I think uh, my guys right now are uh, 
are, are doing well, but we can always improve. We got to improve our physicality, and we have, you know, roughly two and a half weeks, three weeks to get ready for our first game. So we got to continue to improve physically. We're going to make sure that we put them in positions to play physical, and uh, we got to see them compete and perform. Got to make sure that we continue to improve our physical and mental toughness. All right, it's not where it needs to be. Some young guys, we're putting a lot on your plate. You got to give me a playbook. You got to give me a playbook. You got to know what we're trying to get you guys to do. Here you go. Bring it in. Count on me on two. One, two. Count on me.